What's going on internet? It's me, the London Reject. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'm talking to you about a world without internet. I've been there, right? I'm old enough to remember what it was like when there was no internet. And the reason why I'm making this video is because recently I went on holiday to Andorra. This little country, it's like between France and Spain. But anyway, like when we booked the hotel, it said it had Wi-Fi. So we was all like, sweet, we can upload our photos straight to Facebook and all this and that. And I was mainly thinking, sweet, I can watch my subscriptions on YouTube. So we get there and she's like, yep, yeah, you've got Wi-Fi. Here's the passcode and all that. I was like, oh, great, great. She was like, but only two people can go in it at once. I was like, right. And there was a day limit of 100 megabytes. What's the point? So for the whole week, no one really used it. And then that got me thinking, what would happen if the internet just stopped? So literally, you got home from work or school, you turned your laptop on, you watched this amazing video, and then the internet stopped forever. Personally, even though when I was younger, there was no such thing as the internet, I think if the internet was to disappear forever, my life would fucking end. I mean, if I'm not on YouTube, or other things on the internet I'm playing Xbox or I'm on my phone like doing stuff but you get what I'm saying there's some of you youngsters out there that watch this video that don't know a world without internet there's, there's fucking people watching the video that probably don't know the world without the iPhone or whatnot back in the day if we wanted to learn how to do something we had to use these things called books well, they are, they're these like paper things, they're like this big. I would show you one, but I don't even have a book in my room. And they have these, they have words in them, and you open it and you read it like that, and that's how you learn how to do things. Nowadays, if you wanted to learn how to, I don't know, wax an armpit, I'm sure there's a video on YouTube that shows you how to do it. Or if you wanted to know how to make a time machine, there's probably a website that can tell you how to do it. When the internet first came back in my life, I could quite easily have lived without it. Because back when I was younger, let's say when I was about five or six is when we first got the internet in my house. And we had a 14.4K modem. And in case you don't know what that means, that means the download speed of that modem was 14.4. Now you're thinking 14.4 meg, that's not bad. And yeah, you'd be right, 14.4 meg wouldn't be bad. Apart from it wasn't megabytes. It was kilobytes. And if you don't know what a kilobyte is, one megabyte is 1,024 kilobytes. As you can imagine, the internet was fucking shit and fucking slow. It was literally like you click on a picture and it'd be like, eh. Just to wait for it to load. Eh. Like, oh, 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 we're getting there, we're getting there. Eh. Oh, I see the tits. <laughs> but now, I couldn't live a second without the internet. I'm a nerd, I'm a geek, I'm a, I'm a whatever. Whatever you want to call me, I'm one of them. But I couldn't, I could, I'd, I don't know what, my life would fucking implode if the internet was to go. So I want you to leave a comment below on what you would miss most if the internet was to go tomorrow. Don't, don't say my videos. <laughs> Stop it, you. <clears throat> Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Suck a dick if you didn't. My name's Alan the Reject. Be lucky.